Okay, so a flux problem. A one meter square surface is vertical at x is equal to two meters and parallel to the uh, yz plane. What is the flux through the surface if it is located in a uniform electric field given by this expression? There, i, j, and k are the unit vectors in x, y, and z directions. So let's uh, you know think about this. Uh, Coordinate system axis, uh, this is the origin, etc. So, this is the yz plane and this is the x axis. So, uh, we are going to draw a surface uh, which is perpendicular to the x axis but is parallel to the yz plane. Let me try to draw that surface. Okay, and I put a dot over here and I put a dot over here. So connect this so I hope this looks like a parallel surface to the yz plane and you know it's it is at x is equal to it's crossing the x axis at x is equal to 2 let's put the uh, 2 over here All right so this is x is equal to 2 right okay so I mean what is flux let me uh, just uh, uh, write the flux expression. So for uniform and planar surfaces, for uniform uh, electric fields and planar surfaces, this is the expression for the flux, where E is the electric field vector and A is the area vector. So for this surface, what is the area vector? Well, since the area vector is defined to be perpendicular at every point to the surface, and our surface is a plane and that means we have a unique area vector at every point which is parallel to the x-axis right let me draw an area vector which is parallel to the x-axis so it is perpendicular to the surface when it's parallel to the x-axis and the magnitude of the area vector of course should be the area of the surface itself okay and so if you want to express that area vector in unit vector notation it is going to be one meter square multiplied by i where i is the unit vector in the x direction okay so next is just take this uh, dot product where you put uh, the expression for the electric field 25i plus 42 j plus uh, 62 k and this is going to be dot product by uh, i right which is the area okay so uh, and the one thing that you know we are going to operate this dot product between unit vectors and we know that i dot i and j dot j and k dot k they are all equal to 1, but i dot uh, j and j dot uh, k or uh, k dot i, they are all 0 because they are perpendicular to each other. This is the definition of the dot product. So this turns out to be uh, i dot i uh, making i dot j and i get k 0. So these uh, uh, components of the electric field will not give any contribution to the flux. We will have 25 newton meter square divided by coulomb as the unit for the flux okay so that's it